everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. I am Bonnie Krebs from Art Impressions and I'm here to show you our newest watercolor release. There are 16 new sets and I'm going to show you all of those. Uh, but before I get into that, I'm going to tell you about our show special. Uh, this is it. It is Summer Fun 21 and you can get 25% off everything on our website. Now that doesn't count discounted items. Those are already on sale, but be sure to put that code into the box when you're ready to check out. And that is summerfun21 at artimpressions.com. Uh, we have free shipping with every $50 order. And uh, with every $30, $30 order, you get a free limited edition stamp. So you will not want to miss out. And if this uh, technique is new to you, now is a great time to get started because um, you'll be able to buy all these things on sale. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to show you this new release. And then I'm going to try to get a tutorial in and show you how to put some of these together. So let me just kind of flip my camera around here. And I'm going to start out by just kind of showing you uh, what we've got here. Now, this is the newest. This is part of the newest release. There are 16 sets. This one is called the Vintage Car Set. Now, a lot of these are already on YouTube. So if you would like to see a tutorial on how to put these together, this one is on YouTube and on Facebook. So Facebook, uh, every Wednesday, there is a Facebook Live, and it is myself on there. And I have been going through the newest releases. So you'll be able to go on there and check out those um, uh, videos are all archived or you can watch me live on Wednesdays Wednesday mornings at 10 o'clock Pacific time uh, I will be on going through some of these new sets and showing you how to uh, put these things together so this is the vintage car set this was the one from last week and you can check that one out they are also on YouTube like I said uh, this one is new. These are the little watercolor peeking animals and here's here's what they do. They fit inside little containers like this one. Here's the little squirrel right here. Uh, these are also on, on uh, Facebook Live and on YouTube. So a lot of these new releases now will be on uh, Facebook, archived on Facebook or on YouTube. So you can check those out at the Art Impressions channel on YouTube or the Art Impressions Facebook page. Um, so here's this one and actually this little bucket comes in this set with the vintage card. So this is this is the bucket here. There it is. And there's the little guy in here. These are all meant to go together. So these are sold as a collection. So every time you buy something, you'll be able to use it with things that you already have. That's kind of how it works. Uh, here is another one. This is the watercolor veggies. This is more of, of a fall set. Here's the sample right here. These also on the packaging there is also a really good sample of how to put these together. But again, these are all on tutorials so that you can go check those out. They're all very simple to do. There are step-by-step -step instructions and um, you know nothing about this technique is hard at all. It's just stamping and adding water. And if you've been watching and are a little afraid to start, you gotta just try it. You can do it, I promise. It's super fun. So this one is the watercolor veggie set. You get seven in here, great for fall. Now here are the foundations. These are also really, really fun. And what they are, are um, basic stamps. So you can, let me just hold this up so that you can see. This is actually what the stamp is right here. It's just the door and the empty pots like this. And then we fill everything in and this is what it looks like. It's actually a really big project. There are four of these. These are brand new in the watercolor line and they are so fun to do, so fun. These are all, on Facebook or on YouTube so you can check out all the tutorials for all four of these. This is the this is the door 5433. This is the door. They're all kind of similar. So here's the um, here's the wood table. You can see the stamp right here and then you can see what it looks like when it's all filled in with all kinds of bright flowers. These can also be changed out for fall or around Christmas time. You'll be able to change up the colors and it'll change the image completely. Uh, here's the potting bench. You can see the, simp the stamp is very, very simple. And that's why we call them foundations is because they're sort of the building blocks. You stamp that image and then you can add all of your foliages and flowers and everything else in there. Just so much fun to do. So much fun. Here is the fourth one in the foundations line. This is the chairs. Uh, again, same idea, same concept. You have the very basic stamp and then you're going to add all of your fun stuff in it. Really, really fun to do and tutorials, of course, on how to do that. We support everything with tutorials so that you know exactly how to use these. Now, these are the simple scenes. Now, we introduced these last um, with our last release. They were so popular that uh, I have two more for you. This is the simple lake scene. 
I've kind of been working my way through this one on Facebook Live, so you can check those out. This is the Rocky River. Here is a sample of what that looks like when it's completed. So you can see, here's the, here's the actual stamp, just the basic foundation, just kind of the starting point and you can add your little structures, you can add things into the background, little flowers and grasses, and kind of complete the scene however you would like to. So that is the Rocky, Rocky, um, Rocky River. This is the lake scene, and it has a sample also on here. Now this is, this is just showing half of it, so you can see that it's very, very versatile, and there are samples on each one of these little packages so that you can see exactly how they go together. Uh, this is the pond set, and here's a sample. This also was on Facebook, so these, these are tutorials that have already been archived, so you can go back and check those out. And here, this one, this is called the pond set. It's got the little ducks here, um, the little cattails, the, um, all the little items that you need to create a really cute little pond, um, a little pond scene. Uh, more things like weathered stumps. This one has, uh, in this tutorial, here's the little stump right here. Uh, also here in this one, back in the background. So see, these things all work together as a collection. So the more that you buy, the more that you have to use in your compositions. So this is called the weathered stumps. It's got a lot of old, kind of old gnarled trees that you can add into your composition. This is the rock set. Now there are two in this, in this set. There's a large one and a small one both uh, equally uh, versatile so that you'll be able to use these in lots and lots of different compositions. Here's the rocks right here. You can see how it's kind of been worked into this composition. Um, two sizes on those and just so much fun. Now this is the one we're gonna do. We're gonna do a little tutorial with the, the little deer, this one right here, real quick one. These are little silhouettes and there are three sets of these silhouettes. So horses, these little ice skaters, and the silhouette deer so three of those and just so much fun to do here is another sample of those little deer and really really simple you know you don't have to do elaborate um, scenes with these you can keep them uh, so they're simple and really quick and easy to do so I'm gonna do this one really quick and I'm gonna show you how to put these together and the first thing we're gonna need is watercolor paper. So let me zoom in just a little bit here so you can see a little clearer. And we're gonna start out just by stamping a little structure. Now let me show you what I'm using in this tutorial. So I'm gonna use this little structure right here. This is the mini cabin set. And then in the mini foliage set, I'm just gonna use the tree and the little uh, branch, or the, uh, the tree and the, the leaves. We're gonna use that. In the mini flower set, just any of these little flowers are gonna work. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter which one you pick, but I, I chose this one right here. And then in the foliage set, this is the very first one. This is kind of the starter set for foliage. We're gonna use the little grass right here. And that's all we need to get started. So really quickly, I'm just gonna ink this with two colors. So this is a dark brown. These are Tombow markers, a 565 and a 969. We're gonna start out by inking this uh, just using the side of the marker and then I'm going to ink it again with the dark blue right over the top and then I'm going to stamp it off because I don't want it too dark back here in the background and then I'm just going to stamp it in there like that and the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to take some water just like this dip your brush in water and by the way all of these supplies the brushes the paper all of this is available on our website and I'm just gonna start by pulling some of the color out of the lines. You can see this will just uh, really start to take effect here. So I'm just dragging this color out and then I'm going to uh, pull some of this color down because this is kind of this, the shady side of the little structure. You don't have to do a lot with this. Uh, you can add some more color to it. I'm just gonna use my palette right here and I'm just gonna add a little color to the door and I just do that with a marker. This is all done with a marker. And I'm just gonna take some of this, this color here, and just put a little bit of this onto the roof and onto the door, just like that. And then I'm just gonna take a really fine tip. This is a twin tone. This, these are also available on our website and just really color in these little windows. 
So you can see that's really started to um, take shape here. And it looks like a little cottage or a little shed kind of out in the distance. Now we're gonna add some trees in there and we're just gonna use these little um, tree trunks. And I'm just gonna stamp them in here a couple of times on each side. You can kind of turn them a little bit to kind of mix it up. And then I'm just gonna use a green. This is the number 177 and I'm gonna use those leaves. And, and this, you know, with these little leaves, you just have to stamp these in here a couple of times. Just one, two, and then maybe we'll put some kind of back in here behind this little house. And then we're gonna add some water to it. So it's, it's mostly just stamping and adding water. And all you're doing is just kind of dabbing and softening those lines that you just stamped. That's basically the whole technique is to just kind of stamp and then add water. And you can see it just kind of starts to come to life. Okay, just like that, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna take my uh, dark blue now and I'm just going to add a little color here so that I can put some sky in. And I'm just gonna dip my brush in water, pinch it off, and then take some of this color and add it to my, my composition. Just so fun doing these little paintings. They're so quick and easy. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take some green, same green that I used before on those, on those uh, leaves, and I'm just gonna put a little color in, kind of, you know, just right in front of this little house. Just gonna brush this in a little bit. It's okay if you kind of get this color all, you know, a little mixed in with um, with the house, that's okay. And then once that's dry, I'm gonna take my little grass, this is the little grass from the basic foliage set, and I'm gonna put this kind of in the distance, and I can do that just by stamping this grass kind of right in front of it. And you're, you're kind of stamping it over and over again, so you're just kind of tapping it in there. And just, you know, stamping it over again. You get the dark to light that way. And then we can add some, uh, we can add just a little bit of green sort of coming down the bank like this. Like that. And we've got our background in here. So that didn't take very long. That just took a couple of minutes to just kind of put that in. So now let's take our little deer. We're going to place him in the foreground. And uh, we're gonna color him, and I wanna make sure that I sort of have him in the right place, so I'm gonna use my positioner. This is just a little positioning tool. The little acrylic plate comes with it, and it goes up in the corner just like this. And then I'm gonna ink my stamp, and I'm just gonna use a brown, just a dark brown. And then I'm going to stamp it, place this shield into the corner, and stamp this right into the corner. So place my stamp flush into the corner, and stamp it on my acrylic plate. And now I can see exactly where I want this little deer to go. And I think I will put him right here. Now I can place this back, remove the shield, and then re-ink my stamp. And then just place it back in the corner and stamp it lightly, just like that. And I'm going to take a tiny little brush this time. This is a number one. These are also available on our website. This is just a number one. And I'm just going to go over this little deer. Now, kind of stay away from the legs. You know, they're really tiny and we don't want to make them um, too dark. So don't, don't do anything with the legs, you know, kind of towards the bottom. Just keep that really, really light. And you know, you can take some of this color off the back. You know, their little backsides are lighter. So you can just dip your brush, pinch it off, and you can kind of remove some of this, this color and make it a little bit lighter. Okay, and then we're just gonna take a little color now, uh, just a little bit of this blue, and just place a little shadow 
kind of right under him. Just like that. And then let's let's come uh, in front of him now with some grasses. And I'm just gonna kind of come down along this hill, just like this. And this is that same little grass I used before. And I'm just going to pull this color up and out. So this little hill kind of looks like it's coming in front. And he, he just kind of looks like he's out in a little field, just finding some really good grass to eat. And then once that dries a little bit, I'm uh, while that's drying, I'm just going to take a little bit of this uh, green from my palette and add a little more sky in here. And just kind of blend this out a little bit. And then now we can add some flowers into the foreground here. And we can do that with that tiny little flower. And I'm just going to use that same blue again. This is that dark blue. And I'm just going to ink this up and stamp this in here a few times. Kind of like a, you know, along this little hill. Whoops. Little stamp. Wants to kind of jump off here. You can make these little bushes, you know, as big as you want them. Kind of fade that out a little bit. And we can put a little color kind of, you know, back in here, just a tiny little bit. And then you just kind of touch it with your brush and kind of soften it up. Just nothing to it. Just so fun. And that is it. We are finished with this little tutorial. I'm just gonna sign it and date it. And check out the tutorials on these. You will love doing these little projects. They're so much fun and just so easy to do. So check out uh, Facebook. That is on Wednesday mornings, Pacific time, 10 o'clock, and those will stay archived on there. Also, if you're new to this technique, check out Back to Basics with Kendra. She is on every Tuesday afternoon at five Pacific time, and she is going through all the simple, simple sets and going through all the basics so that you can start out simple. For those of you who have not done this technique before, they're very simple projects and easy to do and a great way to kind of tiptoe into this whole um, way of stamping. So check that out. Uh, check us out on Pinterest. Uh, we're on Instagram. Now you can do this in a Bible. You can do this in a journal. <coughs> Excuse me. You do have to prep your page first. But if you are interested in that, check me out at Bonnie Krebs um, Bible Journaling on Instagram. That is my own personal account, and I have lots of tutorials on there, lots of reels and uh, how-to and more inspiration for watercolors so that you'll never run out of ideas. And then, of course, YouTube and Facebook and um, the Art Depression's Instagram page, too. So check that out and uh, give it a try. Check out our special. Don't forget to use Summer, tw Summer Fun 21 at artimpressions.com for your 25% off. Thanks so much for joining me. Happy shopping.